Okay guys, I just got out of my truck. I'm doing another edition of my fly fishing, my local streams, the streams behind me. But up on this ridge up here, there's turkeys gobbling. And see if I can get them to gobble for you, okay? Here we go. There they go. You hear them gobbling? Days. Can't hunt this as posted, but still, wowie, that just that got, got me all fired up for this turkey season. Okay, I thought you guys would think that was a little fun here in this turkey's goblin. Okay. Okay, guys, hey, we're here at another local stream, and we I'm doing another edition on fly fishing your local streams. Okay, so look at this beautiful hole. Real nice, good depth. Okay, I'm gonna put a split shot on, and then um, because uh, this one's got this is like geez, at least four or five foot deep here. I'm gonna throw up into the shallows up here. I have to drift down into the deeper water and see what we come up with. Okay, okie dokie. Get you on my head here. in my pocket for a split shot. Hmm. One other spin fisherman here. And um, see some fish rising down at the end, but could be just crick chubs, I don't know. But uh, I don't see any bugs flying around yet. Okay, let's get in the water here. Oh, first cast. Turkeys are, I mean the geese are here. Yeah, try up here. Get up in the faster waters and the riffles. There's a trout. There's a trout. Okay. Guy looks like he's on the soft tackle. Here's your soft tackle. I'll show you that after I get him in. There he goes. <laughs> okay. Well, I was just trying to pull him up to the surface. Nice fishy. If he was about 12, 13 inches. And there is that hare's ear soft tackle. Got a shuck on it. Take that a little bit off there. And partridge. Hare's ear gold rib, gold wire rib. And um, <clears throat> a little antron shuck. Zelon or Antron Shuck. 
Most of my shucks, I use like a gold color. Goldish tan color. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Come on, give us another whack. There's a go. Another trout. This one's on my mint chocolate chip. This is a pattern I made up myself. Maybe I'll do a tying video on it. Mint chocolate chip. Jeez, yeah, they're all getting off. That's a, that's a barb. <laughs> they're still getting off. That's why I'm trying to, I'm kind of playing them hard. Ooh, this isn't my mint chocolate chip. This is an olive, medium olive, but it's made exactly the same way. This has a glass bead, size 16 hook. This one's maybe a 14. Dark brown collar. Uh, this one's medium olive, but my mint chocolate chip, I use a mint green. It's got a gold red and CDC on the sides. And then I have two um, pheasant tail fibers as antenna. Okay. As antennas. And that's my pupa merger. And I'll tie them in. Uh, I, when I'm using the bead, because sometimes I tie them with a bead, sometimes without. Um, 14, 16s. 14s and 16 caddis bend hook. There's another one. Wow, hey. They had a lot of fish left in here. Not down there. <laughs> First couple of holes I got for um let's see if I can. I'm not you know what? I'll play this guy gentle. The first two came off right at my feet. And um so yeah. First couple of holes, all I got was um crick chubs. So come here, buddy. Come here. I know you're splashy, splashy, splashy. There you go. Oh, nice brownie. He took the olive. Come on. Go. Nice 12 incher. Okay. Okay, there you go. Three quick ones right here. Okay, turn you guys back on. Okay. So, we got three quick ones here. Let's see what we can do. Come down on my side a little more. Ooh, that was a hit, I think. There he is. Yeah, I thought it was a hit. Look at that. Number four. There you go. This is on your local streams. Okay. And this stream on a scale of one to ten, I give it about a six. So it's not that great of a stream, but man, there's tons of fish left over for people to have fun with. This is a rainbow. You can't beat it. Can't beat it, can't beat it. Okay, beautiful rainbow. Close to home. Okay. This is one hole here. We got four fish out of. And we moved upstream. Okay, nice riff up here, right down the middle, and a little bit to my side. There you go, there you go, there's a trout. 
Oh, nice one. Oh, jeez, he's not fighting that good. Like a ra rainbow. Okay. Hmm. This guy was a little lethargic. He needs to get back in that fast. Oh, now he's coming to life. Now he's coming to life. He's still hooked or not. Get him back in the water. He was on the soft tackle. There you go. Nice. Get in there. Go, 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 go. Okay, guys. Here we go. Back down the middle current again. There you go. Man, we're just having fun. Another rainbow here. The first guy on the glow bug. He's on the glow bug. Oh, oh there it goes. Let him go. Okay, let's try this again. Boom. There's another. Oh, he got off. Man, did you see that hit? See that line jump? <laughs> Cannot believe it. Boom. Coming right down. Watch that line. Come on, take a hit. There he goes. Ah, oh, Chubb. Chubb are winning. <laughs> Chubber winning. Eight chubs, six trout. <laughs> okay. Let's sneak our way up there. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Yeah, I can't believe nothing hit. Get over there. Okay. Boom. I think I'm gonna get a snag on that rock. Am I? No. Hmm. Try out there. Boom. Hmm. Right down the middle. Right down the middle of the fast water. Should be a trout in there. There you go. That just looked too, too fishy. <clears throat> He's on the soft hackle. On the soft hackle. Oh, you know what? Ah, let, me, let me net him. Okay. Okay. Nice 11, 12 incher. Put them back in it, and you can have fun tomorrow with them too. Okay, so I didn't know I was playing a game with these fish, but we're catching up to the chubs. <laughs> chubs are still winning eight to seven. There's, oh, there's another one with tie score. 
eat, eat. <laughs> eight trout, eight chugs. I mean, yeah, eight trout and eight chugs. This guy's on the glow bug. Okay. Come on, you can get off if you want. Okay, okay, okay. Right in the corner of his mouth. Ah. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. No, another 11, 12 incher. He was ugly, but we won't judge him. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's see. Boom. Come right down that middle again. Here's another one. We pulled the head. We finally pulled the head of the crick chubs. <laughs> this guy's big. This guy looks like he's 14 inches. This is a nice fishy. In that faster, faster water. <clears throat> it's shallower too, over here. It's a good two and a half foot deep. Over there, it's only about a foot, foot and a half maybe. <clears throat> Oh, this guy's nice fish. We might have to net him. Oh yeah, nice way, nice big rainbow. Oh, he, he might go 16, 17. <coughs> He's on the glow bug. On the glow bug. Beautiful. This one's a pretty boy. Oh man. Oh man. He's about 18 inches. He's alpha already. Look at that. <laughs> I know he's not wild, but you gotta love him. Put my rod down. Ah. Okay, let me see if I can get him. I gotta step in the water a little more. Oh, look at that. Look at that, baby. Good 18 inches. Nice. Okay, go back. Shoo, he was heavy. He was a fat boy. Okay, let me get my tangle out of my net here. I'm gonna fish this little run right here and we're gonna cross over go over to those rocks and fish this curve okay that outside curve so let me get down in the water here get into position and fish this little spot right here Boom. right there right there whack it Hmm. Hmm. Oh. oh, there's one. We got one. Okay. Trout are taking over now. This guy's on the glow bug. This guy's a little guy. About 11 inches. A rainbow. Oh. 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 All right. Wow. Get him back in that fast water. So we'll try there one more time. So, okay. So we got this nice curve here, guys. Okay. Beautiful. Kind of all around. Good water. Uh, there was a gentleman here about 25 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, 
fishing it with a spinning rod. I didn't see him catch anything. Okay. So, but I believe there's some fishies in here. There's one. Thought there'd be some fishies in there. I don't know what the spinning guy's using, whether it was bait or uh, lures, but hey, sometimes the fish rather take a fly or a glow bug or a glow bug. <laughs> so this is number 12 here. Okay. 10, 11, 12, yep. Okay, let's toss it back up there again, see what we can get. Okay, nothing there. So let's go up to the head up here. Ooh, watch my feet. Go right up here at the head first. Boom. Right there at the head. Any fishies in the head? No. Yeah. Boom. Nice, should be one fishy up there. Really? Huh. Okay. So the main current's on the farther side. Let me just get my footing. Okay. Boom. Watch that line, watch that line. There he is, there he is. All that, that line didn't jerk. If you guys slow up or back that up, the line just stopped. So all it did was stop and I set the hook. And he's on the glow bug. Okay. Bring him over here. So you can slip that glow bug right out of his mouth. There we go. Huh. There we go. We got caught on the next one. Okay. So. I caught myself. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, come on, come on. Getting all tangled up. Okay. So let's get a nice cast up here again. Ready? Boom. Watch that line, watch that line. Oh, that was probably just a rock. Boom. Watch again. Coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Hmm, nothing on that one. Okay, boom. Nice, nice, nice. There he goes. There he goes. That one jumped. That time the line jumped. And this guy is on the glow bug again. Boy, the glow bug is coming to life right now. Okay. So. Ready? Boom. 
straighten out that line. Look at that boy, he hit right up at the head. Man, that only drifted like six inches. <laughs> he whacked it on the pheasant, on the um, caddis emerger. Is that awesome or what? Hey. Okay. So let's get up here again. See if we can get another one to head. I'm gonna move up a little, just a step or two. Okay. Boom. Let's see. Watch that line. Nope. Okay, get up in that head again. Boom. I throw right up, even above the head. Ah, that's a bad. Oh, he was, there he is. I wasn't. I didn't have the best drift there. Oh, there he goes. He got off. That's okay. Man, he was there. He was there. So let's sneak up a little bit higher. Let's try one over here. It's a calm section right there. deeper part of the like as soon as it hits the drop off so boom right there sometimes those fish just stage right on that drop off I'm getting those bugs as they come out there you go there's another one that one hit back further he's on the uh caddis emerger too so the one that got off was like 16 this is number 17 i've only been here an hour an hour <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a smidge over an hour. Okay. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, yuck. Uh, if he, he, he might have splashed the lens, I don't know. Come here. I don't want to net him. Getting all tangled up. Get that fly. There you go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go, Joe. Okay. Hey, guys. <laughs> Pick this fish up. I was just walking. I was just walking and threw out. I'm going down to a riff right here. And <laughs> didn't even have the camera on. Just trying to not get snagged and keep them. <laughs> just tossing my line out there. So this guy hit the soft tackle. How about that? Okay. Oh, there's a big fish right there. Oh, I'll try here a little bit more. That one's, this is a brownie. Brownie, brownie, brownie. Good 12, 13 inches. Dark. Okay, so there are a couple fish in here. Huh, I didn't think so. But let's go. See if we can get them. There he goes. There he goes. It's a little, it's kind of deep here, but I didn't think there'd be fish here. <laughs> this guy's on the glow bug. Ha <laughs> ha. So now I think if we catch one more, we're around 20 fish. Shikaro. Where do I go? Boom. Perfect drift. There he is. I'll say that was a beautiful drift. Okay, so I think we're at 20 fish. There he goes. There he goes. Give me a few hours of rainbow. And there's cat is starting to pop off. Boom. 
Another good cast. Watch that line, watch that line. I don't think I can get it to drift underneath that bush, limb, branch without getting hung up. I'm gonna try. I throw it up high enough and get it to sink quick enough. Um, which I'm gonna slide my split shot down a little to get it to sink a little better. Oh jeez. Okay. So here we go. Boom. Let's see if we can get underneath that bush. Oh, that was a good drift. Anything in there? How about on the swing? Nope. Wow. That was a beautiful drift. Do that again. Boom. That's going to come a little inside. I wanted to go uh, see again. Oh. Mm. Boom. There you go. That's going to go underneath a little better. There he is. There he is. Check it. There was something underneath that bush. He's on the glow bug. Okay. Wow. Tighten up my split shot a little here. Okay, let's try another one underneath the bush. Underneath the bush. Oh, that's that's way under there. I can't imagine I'm not gonna get snagged. Oh, come on. Even down there, area. Oh, I thought that would have been it. Okay, let's try. Boom again. Nice drift. Watch that line. There he is, there he is, there he is. Oh, he got off. I, I, I don't know which one he was on, but now he's hooked on the, <laughs> the last fly. Oh, there he goes. Yep. So we got three fish out of this hole. Keep trying it. Boom. Underneath that bush. That's a nice hideaway in there. Okay guys, change my battery. Take just a couple more casts here. We got three out of here. There might not be that many more in here. Oh, there's one more. <laughs> there's one more in there. <laughs> oh, he just came off. He was caught on the second fly. There you go, see? Caught on the second fly, he wiggled off of it and got caught on that one. The, the last fly. Ha, huh, that was pretty good. Boom. So. There's another one. Ooh. Man, five fish out of this hole. This guy's on the caddis emerger too. Man, my line just stopped. I thought I was in a snag. I stopped at this spot, uh, I don't know, like I said earlier, um, just because I saw a trout stocking sign and normally they'll throw a sign up where they stock a section of the creek And I never ever ever fished this section ever since I was a teenager. I've been fishing this stream for 40 years and um, But I, like I said, I never fished this this section and um, 
as soon as I got out of my truck, <laughs> I saw a blue heron fly away. So I'm like, oh, that's another tip off. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys. So the two fish we caught up here, we caught five out of this hole. Like seven more fish we picked up. Boom. All because of all they did was saw the stocking sign. <laughs> okay. Boom. So we'll do this one against the far bank. Boom. There he goes, against the far bank. He's on the caddis emerger. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. This is just pure fun. Not a huge challenge, but that's okay. Some days you just want to go out there and have fun. If I wanted a challenge, I would have went up to the Delaware. <laughs> Okay, against the bank. Oh, man, as soon as that hit the water, one hit. I mean, it just, just entered the water. Boom, there's that far bank again. There's it goes, there he goes, up against that far bank. Wowie, I saw another fish out there. This guy is on, I think he's on the soft tackle, this one. Here's your soft tackle. Now just moving down, heck, I only moved down 10 feet, a couple yards, and uh, presents differently. This drifts a little bit deeper down the tail end of this pool. That was a brownie. So don't just, you know, whatever section or spot you're fishing, hit it from different angles. Hit it from different angles. Uh -uh, on the bottom. Not one bite. There's a fish. Had to be at least one fishy in there. He's on the soft hackle. Okay, gotta thank the state for that guy. Had a little bit of fun there. And the state stuck in the stream. Okay guys, this is a freestone stream. So get my flies out here. Let me um hook this up here. I just want to turn over a couple rocks here and see what no, I've already seen caddis flying around, so I know there's caddis here. 
Well, let's check the bottom of some of these rocks. See what we got. Uh, too big, too big, too big, too big. How about this one? Oh, that one's too big too. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Just a gazillion nymphs. There's a Chamara caddis pupa. That, that uh, yellow one. There's tons, tons of nymphs. They're like size 20 nymphs. Crawling all around this rock. Let's get a different one. Oh my gosh. Man, these rocks are bigger than they look. There you go. Look at that. A lot of, a lot of nymphs. That's great. Plenty of food. Pick this one up. Look at these. Tons of all these caddis cases. They're in a line. There's all caddis pupas inside there. Here's a sulfur. Two sulfur. Smaller one and a bigger one. Look at those. There is just a ton of caddis and nymphs. So. Okay. Well, at least we got one out of here. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of super deep holes. There's another one. And that one's on a glow bug. Let's just get him off of there. Oh, you horrible. Whoop. That might be my fly down here, I don't know. But he broke that all off. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if I can get that might be my glow bug right down here. Got my whole rig back. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh man, that was a hit. Man, I'm missing hits like crazy. There he is. He's on the soft tackle. Make sure there's no bring him in here. Let him go, let him go. So much fun. Boom. Do this again. Is there another one on the outside? On the outside edge. There he is. Oh, missed him. Had him on, stung him. Come on. Savage.
Here he is. Oh, got off. Jeez. The second one that got off here. Oh, man. <sighs> Do a closer one. Going down, going down, going down. There he is. Catch him tomorrow. Catch him tomorrow. Somebody will catch him tomorrow, not me. <laughs> Somebody will catch him tomorrow. Let's see. Going deep. Oh. Jeez, man, that sucker went deep. Going deep. There he is. He went for the glow bug. five out of this hole but I had three or four others on that I was bringing into me <laughs> and they just wiggle off right up in the trees I lost one rig on a fish that just pounded it there was a gentleman here but he left and um, so let's go up to the head of this run I saw him catch one fish but I think there's a ton more fish left up in this run where he was at and he was using bait so let's see. Boom. There he is. First cast up there. He's on the soft tackle, I think. Yep. He's on the soft tackle. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, there it goes. Just like that. And that one didn't get caught in the tree. <laughs> Let's go back out here. Boom. Come down that nice fast seam. Okay guys. We fished this. We didn't fish right up against this rock and up here. We're gonna hit this head, this head run, and we're gonna go over there and fish out run over there. So I'd like to catch something on this Pertagon. Let's see. Boom. Okay, come down there, come down there. Man, that was a nice, there it goes. I was gonna say, that was a nice drift. Oh, that was on the soft tackle. Man, he's getting off. I didn't set the hook real good on him. So. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Get up here more. Boom. Right up down alongside this big rock right in front of me. Oh. To the outside. Hmm. 
Okay. Real close. There, there he is. There he is. I said real close. And I think he's on the party gone. He's on the party gone. He is on the thread Frenchie. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yay. I don't care. He got off. Ah. Trees. My nemesis today. <laughs> Boom. Let's see. That's cool. That was cool. On the party guy. Okay, guys. That's it. Um, I don't know what time it is. I want to say it's somewhere around 10 o'clock, 10.30. And maybe we fished for two and a half, two and a half hours. I think we caught somewhere between 25 and 30 trout. So, hey, there you go again. This is another edition of Fly Fishing, your local your local uh, state of, uh, uh, trout approved stock, stocking streams and I don't know what, what they title it, how it goes, but, uh, approved trout stocking streams. But just to go to your local stream, there's still a lot of fish left in there and yeah, there's, there's a ton of fun out there. Uh, there were some caddis coming off today. Like some of them don't have the best bugs. Some of them still have some really good bugs. So I would say <clears throat> fish it in the morning, fish it in the evening. It might have a morning hatch, might have an evening hatch. This time of year, I think yeah, I mean it's not trichos yet. It's not summertime, but normally you have some really, really decent um, uh, evening hatches. And um, you know, give it a shot, guys. Try your uh, go out to your local. Um, trout streams and and get your money's worth out of your license like i said in my previous video okay while the while the fish are still there <laughs> so um like i said there's a lot left i saw maybe about four spin fishermen today um and i only saw one guy keep keep a keep a fish um i didn't see them really catching a lot of fish and um so but hey they were taking the flies Maybe that's another thing that's decent about the uh, local, some of your local uh, streams close to home is a lot of guys are fishing them with bait and hardware with spinners and stuff. And the fish are used to seeing that. They see a natural fly coming by and a natural drift and they go and take it because it looks more natural and presentable. So um, maybe you might have better luck with the fly rod. I had a spot today where a guy was fishing it with a spinning rod for like 15, 20 minutes. I went up about half hour later after he got out of there or maybe well maybe 20 25 minutes after he got out of there and i caught wow four or five fish right out of the same hole he was just in so um so go explore have fun don't travel far if you don't have to and uh i think i'm not i don't know if i do another edition on a different stream but uh this was a lot of fun yeah i think i may do one there's one more stream i like the uh, I'm not I'm not naming these streams because these streams get pounded pounded every day and they're little streams okay so um, go out there have fun and like I said get the most out of your local little streams before summertime hits and the warm water starts coming in okay thanks a lot guys bye bye hey if you like to give it a thumbs up bye